Those who sealed it were, Nehemiah the governor, the son of Hakaliah. Zedekiah, Syria, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pashur, Amariah, Machijah, Hatyash, Shabaniah, Malak, Haram, Mirmoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Janethon, Barak, Meshalam, Abijah, Majaman, Maziah, Bilgai, and Shemaiah. These were the priests. The Levites, Shua son of Azaniah, Benwi of the sons of Hanadad, Kadmiel, and their associates, Shabaniah, Hodiah, Kelita, Peleah, Hanan, Mika, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zachar, Sherebiah, Shabaniah, Hodiah, Bani, and Benanu. The leaders of the people, Parash, Pahat Moab, Elam, Zato, Bani, Buni, Asjid, Babai, Adonijah, Bigbai, Adin, Adar, Hezekiah, Aitzer, Hodiah, Hashem, Bezai, Haraf, Anadhoth, Nebai, Magbiash, Meshalam, Hezir, Meshazabal, Zadok, Jadwa, Palatia, Hanan, Anna, Hashia, Hananiah, Hashab, Halahesh, Pilah, Shobek, Reham, Hashabna, Masiya, Aya, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, and Bana. The rest of the people, priests, levites, gatekeepers, musicians, temple servants, and all who separated themselves from the neighboring peoples for the sake of the law of God. Together with their wives and all their sons and daughters who are able to understand, all these now join their fellow Israelites the nobles, and bind themselves with a curse and an oath to follow the law of God given through Moses the servant of God and to obey carefully all the commands, regulations and decrees of the Lord our Lord. We promise not to give our daughters in marriage to the peoples around us or take their daughters for our sons. When the neighboring peoples bring merchandise or grain to sell on the Sabbath, we will not buy from them on the Sabbath or on any holy day. Every seventh year we will forego working the land and will cancel all debts. We assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands to give a third of a shekel each year for the service of the house of our God, for the bread set out on the table, for the regular grain offerings and burnt offerings, for the offerings on the Sabbaths, at the new moon feasts and at the appointed festivals, for the holy offerings, for sin offerings to make atonement for Israel, and for all the duties of the house of our God. We, the priests, the Levites and the people, have cast lots to determine when each of our families is to bring to the house of our God at set times each year a contribution of wood to burn on the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written in the law. We also assume responsibility for bringing to the house of the Lord each year the first fruits of our crops and of every fruit tree. As it is also written in the law, we will bring the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle, of our herds and of our flocks to the house of our God, to the priests ministering there. Moreover, we will bring to the storerooms of the house of our God, to the priests, the first of our ground meal, of our grain offerings, of the fruit of all our trees and of our new wine and olive oil. And we will bring a tithe of our crops to the Levites, for it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all the towns where we work. A priest descended from Aaron is to accompany the Levites when they receive the tithes, and the Levites are to bring a tenth of the tithes up to the house of our God, to the storerooms of the treasury. The people of Israel, including the Levites, are to bring their contributions of grain, new wine, and olive oil to the storerooms, where the articles for the sanctuary and for the ministering priests, the gatekeepers, and the musicians are also kept. We will not neglect the house of our God. Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of every ten of them to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commended all who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. These are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem, now some Israelites, priests, levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants lived in the towns of Judah, each on their own property in the various towns. While other people from both Judah and Benjamin lived in Jerusalem from the descendants of Judah, Adiah son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephishah, the son of Mahalalel, a descendant of Porez, and Masiah son of Barak, the son of Colhoset, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Jwarub, the son of Zechariah, a descendant of Shelah. The descendants of Porus who lived in Jerusalem totaled 468 men of standing. From the descendants of Benjamin, Salu son of Meshalam, the son of Jod, the son of Pedeah, the son of Koleah, the son of Masiah, the son of Ethiel, the son of Jeshiah, and his followers, Gabe and Salai, 928 men. Joel son of Zikri was their chief officer, and Judah son of Hassanua was over the new quarter of the city. From the priests, Jedeah, the son of Jwagarab, Jachin, Sireah son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalam, the son of Zadok, the son of Miraith, the son of Ahitab, the official in charge of the house of God, and their associates, who carried on work for the temple, 
822 men, Adaiah son of Jeroham. The son of Belalia, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Machijah, and his associates, who were heads of families, 242 men, Amashsai son of Azarel, the son of Azay, the son of Meshalemeth, the son of Immer, and his associates, who were men of standing, 128. Their chief officer was Zabdil son of Haggadalim. From the Levites, Shimea son of Hashab, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, Shabbatai and Josabad, two of the heads of the Levites, who had charge of the outside work of the house of God, Matania son of Mekah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Azaf. The director who led in thanksgiving and prayer, Bakbukia, second among his associates, and Abdah son of Shamua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun. The Levites in the holy city totaled 284. The gatekeepers, Akab, Talman, and their associates, who kept watch at the gates, 172 men. The rest of the Israelites, with the priests and Levites, were in all the towns of Judah, each on their ancestral property. The temple servants lived on the hill of Ophel, and Ziha and Jishpa were in charge of them. The chief officer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Utsi son of Bani, the son of Hashabia, the son of Matania, the son of Mika. Utsi was one of Azaf's descendants, who were the musicians responsible for the service of the house of God. The musicians were under the king's orders, which regulated their daily activity. Pethiah son of Meshazabal, one of the descendants of Zerah son of Judah, was the king's agent in all affairs relating to the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its surrounding settlements, in Dibon and its settlements, in Jechabzeel and its villages, in Shua, in Molada, in Bethpalat, in Hazarshual, in Beersheba and its settlements, in Ziklag, in Mekona and its settlements, in Enrimon, in Zora, in Jarmuth, Zainoah, Adolam and their villages, in Lachish and its fields, and in Azekah and its settlements. So they were living all the way from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The descendants of the Benjamites from Gabal lived in Michmish, Ijah, Bethel, and its settlements, in Anadhoth, Nob and Ananiah, in Hazer, Rama, and Gittaim, in Hadid, Zeboim and Nebalat, in Lod, and Ono, and in Jeharashim. Some of the divisions of the Levites of Judah settled in Benjamin. 